Hello guys, I promised you another video how to install the radiator controller HR92 from Honeywell company and it, we, will, we will install it for different thermostatic heads Danfoss, Heymeyer and Comap basically for only Danfoss you need this kind of adapter which then later will be screwed on to the adapter from from Honeywell for Hemeyer it's very easy this is already from the Honeywell you just literally screw it on and the same goes for Comap if you compare those two they are only different in sizes otherwise it's easy just a screw on and that's it I apologize for those who have other types, but uh, I didn't have that. I already feel, felt bad that I have three different variations and that's thanks to stupid company Kaliswart here in Netherlands who did not bother to get me the same valves for each for the for all radiators. So let's get to it. So let's start with the easiest one, the Haymeyer. You always should turn it to the, to the fully open. Then what you will need is a set of pliers. You release it here a little. I already prepared it. Then you literally get it out. You then undo switch the position on the Honeywell to the release take out the adjustment nice and tight you choose the position where you want it so I want it nice and straight lock and that's it the thermostatic head will go through the cycling situation where it will try to position it will open the valve fully and then it will close the valve fully and uh, then it will be set to go i'll leave that let's go to another one right the next one is a come up system very simple again so you would take the pliers obviously turn it to five fully open release release the thread you take it out now don't forget to release switch the release button you take out the adjustment you screw it on make sure that it fits well You might as well tie it with the pliers, but I prefer just firmly with the hand. Then you take it nice and straight and you lock it. That's it. Let's go to Danfoss system, which is the worst. When I say the Danfoss is the worst, I only meant that uh, it took me the longest to find out how to take out the thermostatic head because the otherwise are quite self-explanatory you just unscrew it and then you screw the new one on uh, here you have to first always open open the head again and what you have to do is you have to turn this bit anti-clockwise in order in order to release the head so i actually had to study some videos as well then you take this adapter you have to slide it away that it's uh, in those bits 
so these bits slide into these channels so let's give it a try open up there we go and Oops. See, just a regular, regular guy and right handed. So I tied it up. There we go. Okay, then we take the adapter from the thermostatic head, we screw it on, sometimes it needs a gentle push, okay, unlock position, lock position, and that's pretty much it. And that's it. Thank you for attention. See you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe if you like our videos because it really helps our channel. See you. Bye-bye.